Chew and Paul, pass and forget. This is the phrase Ghanaian children use to describe their education. A study by UNESCO Global Monitoring Report 2013-2014 shows that around 250 million children are not learning basic skills, even though half of them have spent at least four years in school. 90% of Ghanaian schools don't have lab equipment. 95% of STEM teachers don't attend or acquire relevant training. In our country now, most of the basic schools don't have science lab. And if you want to teach science practically, that means you have to use the same classroom that you'll be using for all subjects. And that's not making it possible for us to teach the subject practically. No science labs and then most of the materials too, we don't have. The resources that are available, the classroom, the materials, the teaching and learning materials are not there specifically for science. Um, we lack seminars or uh, in-service training on the particular topics and others. So the one that teachers are mostly not um, competent on this skip and this has always been a problem with um, teachers and even it extends to the students. Practical Education Network, PEN, improves learning outcomes by building teacher capacity. PEN equips Ghanaian STEM teachers to deploy hands-on activities with locally available materials that are aligned to their national curriculum. For some of us, 14 years into teaching, but specifically 12 years in teaching integrated science at the junior high level. Wow. So I, I was much familiar with some of the concepts, just that um, what I've learned has buttressed the point that every aspect of our life is science. Mm. That's what I've been telling my kid. Every aspect of our life is science. The measurements, the eating, and everything that we do, you can relate it to a topic in integrated science. So it was very nice doing all sorts of activities concerning the various topics that was given. I'm going to press this poll activity oh. as it was fun, and it turned, it turned me into a magician here. Whenever I decide to perform any agreement, mm -hmm. people will gather around and they will be like, say, it was the most the cool is the event, yeah, the event. An example of a science practical model, lungs with heart anatomy model, as seen, cost more than $200, which is 20 times more than the average Ghanaian school yearly budget for science. Penn's content leverages low-cost, locally available materials. The materials for each pen activity cost less than $2 on the average. With the advent of COVID-19, we had to convert our in-person teacher training program into an online mode. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the hands-on science training. I got it. Take a picture, take a picture. Take a picture, first one. Since 2014, we have been running workshops around Ghana with our local partners. We have been growing in numbers and reach each year. We have trained over 100 trainers who have trained over 3,000 teachers who in turn have taught close to 600,000 students with this model.